and welcome everybody to this uh, <laughs> to this arcade section. The screen almost. Uh, this is Make Code Arcade, uh, the video stream for beginners. My name is Pelly from the Make Code team, and I'm sitting with Emil here. Yeah. And we've been going through these game design concepts. So Make Code Arcade is a code editor to build games. You can see the whole series of this movie, and we're using a code editor at arcade.makecode.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can right-click two times on the video and select picture in picture. Okay. Let's and let's scroll down to the game design concept, and we've covered the first three ones in the previous video. Now there is a lot. And there's a lot of them, and we're gonna go for the bouncing burger, bouncing burger, which is creating a sprite that will bounce around the screen. And now that sounds pretty good. Pretty simple. And as usual, it starts with a tutorial where we read all the instructions. Sprites can be given X and Y velocities, so they can move around the screen. All right, let's take a look at that. Set my sprite to OK. So that's the usual, usual process. Create a sprite, draw it. I think it's so, going to be next step. Yeah. Oh. OK. Yeah, how so about we, we can... uh, zoom in a tad? Tiny okay, bit yeah. after. Yeah. Let's grab one. Let's grab a small uh, the burger. burger. The small one. Can I R make it radioactive? I figured. We always radioactive burger. Oh, it, maybe it's like salad on top. Yeah, maybe it's a salad burger. Somebody, I don't know, messed up. Okay. All right. Hey, yeah, you know, some burgers have salad on top. Uh, that's too much. And let's collapse the simulator. You can do that. All right. Wait, let's see how it looks. Okay. Oh yeah, we don't move it yet. We'll move to the right across the screen because... Oh, okay. So, okay. So we grab the set X and we put it here, but then if you click on the drop down, you can change a lot of properties of this object, including. Oh, let's. No, no, it's called it's called mine's right. It's okay. Okay. Uh, and you want to yeah. give it forty as a speed, so it's forty pixels per second, and our screen is one hundred and twenty pixels. So in thirty seconds, it'll go so fast. It's not that fast. Just make it better. Yeah. Ah. Da -da -da -da. The screen is one hundred and sixty wide, so it has to, it has to do eighty pixels. So it's gonna take. At a speed of 40 pixels per second? Uh, like two seconds? Like two seconds. Nobody cares, but. Okay, I like to think we did that. Okay. So again, the X are positive, so it's going to the right. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna do a duplicate. Yeah, that's easy. Change that to VY, which is up and down. And remember, up and down is that way. Positive is going down. So I was stuck. And I think he wants uh, 60. Oh, yeah, 60. <laughs> so it's going a bit more. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stay in screen. Stay in screen. This is very useful. It forces the sprite to just. Uh, we're probably going to do bouncing. Yeah. Uh, wait, you didn't turn it on. Oh, no, no, he turns it on now. Doesn't he matter. turns it on now? Like this. Let's oh, try it. Oh, bounce on the wall and then turn it on. Oh, you had it. Oh, there we go. Like the ding, ding, ding. The it kind of work. goes back to the same spot. Does it? No. Oh, that's cool. Wait. All right, what's next? Congratulations, your burger will now bounce on walls. This could be used to help implement a variety of game. For example, you can make a game where you move another sprite to around around the burger as long as possible. So do okay. we do that? Uh, let's click finish. Uh, we can we don't have to share this. I wanted to actually turn on physics to see what's going on. So remember that's also a flag on the sprite. 
if you clone Saints bounce on wall Krebs. stain screen Kreb, Krebs change oh, stain yeah. screen and we're gonna have it do physics and that's really helpful to see what's going on see how it flips the speed then now V X is positive see the V the second line yeah and you see what happens when you bounce you basically your X velocity flips or your Y velocity flips okay, okay. you know what we could do let's try acceleration Okay. So let's give it a little bit of vertical acceleration, just like if it was on Earth. So we're going to duplicate this. Mm, going too fast. And. Here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could put it anywhere. Yeah, maybe more tidy. And here we're going to. Let's see. The other things we can do is acceleration. Oh, yeah. So if you look at AY, uh -huh. that's the acceleration. So I'm going to duplicate this too. Now I think it's just going to accelerate like it's falling down. Okay. So let's try that. It's going to be 60 to 70. Yeah. So it's going to push it down to the ground. Eventually, it will stop. It's going to bounce less and less. No, actually, it doesn't lose energy. There's no friction, so it's going to do that forever. Ooh. That's cool. It's not straight anymore. It's like more of a round move. Then you could, here, you could, wait, first, since we kind of want to keep it organized, we can do, uh, um, what do you want to do? Start, and then. Oh, you can only have one. <gasps> oh, okay. If you want to organize, you can create a function. Oh, yeah, we should just create a function, right? This is all one Yeah, thing. this is all a function, so create a new function. Um, make sprite or set sprite. Yeah. <laughs> all right, okay, and then move all the code in there. You don't have to press control. Just oh, yeah. Oh, that was dangerous. And now you have to call it. Yeah. And again, this is called a refactoring. We've, <sighs> we've organized our code. And you think about now when we read call, call star, it's like, okay, I'm calling set sprite. And okay, and then you could do is it's kind of like a Mario and then there's tons of burgers falling down on you and you have to run and there's obstacles. Okay, so but yeah. That's kind of a long So we need to create a new it. sprite. First so let's to... actually change the burger. Oh, okay. You want to melt many burgers? I want to set the scene. All right. Oh, you're drawing again. All right, let's do that. Red. That's pretty, pretty arch. It's really bad. <laughs> oh, there's a oh cool forest. There we go. And we could add a bit of uh, you know greenness. Greenness. You can spend a lot of time designing your backgrounds. That's for sure. I might have just ruined it. Uh, it's your signature. Yeah, I guess. I don't color. Know. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to have a, so we want a sprite that's at the bottom, that's avoiding the burger. Yeah. So let's create a new sprite. So actually go back to your function, make sure the, the kind on the sprite is correct. I think it's, it's a player now. Let's call it something else. It's going to be the enemy. Enemy? Yeah. And now. We need to do it on the overlap. So first we need to create yeah. another sprite. And let's put that in our. We, we should make a function. On start. Oh, you want to make a function? Okay. And that's going to be a player. All right. And 
and let's uh, call that function from um start. Now we already do that, and we're gonna make player. Okay, now we go back to. Um. How about we collapse the simulator so we see things? All right. Okay, so we're uh, we're gonna rename this because the name is terrible, and we're um, gonna name that to uh, Piro. Piro. And you have to go save the veggies. You have to save the veggies from the burgers. That sounds great. Should and we just take it? Yeah. We, it's not somebody we haven't taken yet. So we'll, oh yeah, We've okay. taken this one, did the princess, the, the ghost, the cat. The fish. The fish. Like fish the don't fish. like burgers. Well, yeah, fish don't like burgers. All right. I think they might like some like seaweed. I don't know. Now you need to position it. Oh, yeah, we need to position it. Oh, first we need to move it with buttons. Yeah. Let's do that. But we're going to do something special because it can only move horizontally. So if you click on the plus, because now it can move everywhere. Okay, it could be a fish in, a, in an aquarium. Yeah. But I think it's more fun if you put it on the ground. We might have an, oh yeah. So click on plus and do VY to be zero. So that's how many pixels it moves, at the speed at which it moves. And if the speed is Y is zero, it can move up so and down. So we need to make a spawn point, right? Now we need to spawn it somewhere else. So we're kind of making a platformer. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's let's keep this all tidy. We don't need this around. I'm just gonna move it out. All right. Uh, so we want to spawn it over here. Yeah. There's a block to uh, set the position so, in, on the sprite. Game right or mm, sprites. Set position to yes. Set position. And now if you. Make sure it's your hero. And click on zero and it'll help you kind of figure out where. So you want maybe start in the center? Oh, okay. Because I, I think like you, you start here, but then you go that way. Oops. Okay. Well, somewhere in the bottom. All right. And now it can move. Don't we want him to be on the ground? Yeah. A bit higher. A bit higher. Yeah. Yeah, he's out of the thing, though. Oh, you know we, what we need to do? We need to make sure it stays in the screen. Oh, yeah, stay in the screen. Du, du, du. It's it, not here. It's not stay here. Stay in screen. There you go. Let me put that over here. Uh, or you can put it in the function. Yeah, you have to put it in the function. Stay in screen. Yeah. What's relative to camera? Follows it. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe let's try it. Test. Let's see. It's booting. Maybe it follows? And we're not using a camera right now. So we don't know yet. Let's just get rid of that. All right, so we've got our little fish. We need to flip them around, or we need to find a sprite that faces that way. We'll do the flipping later. Let's do the collision. Oh yeah, collision. So collision is also overlaps. And let's uh, collapse the simulator. We're going to need a lot of space here. So we've got a sprite of player, that's our yeah. fish, and Relax. it's going to go and Tell collapse me. with enemy. enemy. And when that happens, what do we do? I think we're going to remove some, some lives. First we need to set the life. It starts with three. Okay. Oh yeah, let's set the life in on start. Good. And now whenever there's an overlap, I guess you start removing lives. The problem is going to overlap many times while it's bouncing off. So we might give way more lives. Change yeah. life. There you go. Give it like maybe a hundred or something. hundred? Yeah. Wait, how? Okay, let's see. 
Let's see what it looks like in the game. Oh, See, yeah. you lost 20 in one shot. But then if I like, but it's not that hard. Well, you know, we can do the same trick ever. We can change the acceleration. Yeah, I'll change the acceleration. And we can change the, how many burgers we have. Yeah, we can. Uh, what about <laughs> points? Let's give points for every second you survive. Okay. But you know, even better, go to Sprite and just do game update. Oh no, to game. Just give a lot of points. Every second? Every tenth of a second. Ten points per second. And we're just going to have a, a score. We're just increment the score there. There you go. All right. So the longer you hold, the more points you get. So it starts to look like a game. OK, and now we need to start spawning more. Uh, All right. So we need another game update. Yeah, maybe not every tenth of a second. Oh, it's gonna yeah. be really hard. Every second. Two seconds. Cause like the screen's not that big, and it'll start getting hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and well, we can try it. Yeah, we can try it, and then <coughs> we can change. All right. It. So how do we spawn a burger? Uh, Good thing we did a function. Yep. And I kind of want to rename that function. Eh, let's leave it like that. It's fine for now. So every 20 points? I think we could do five Yeah, seconds. and also it always spawns at the same spot. Yeah, every two seconds is really, really... So I think we can turn off the physics. <laughs> and yeah, there's a save point. So you need... The problem is they always spawn the same point. So uh, there's a way to hide from them. So we need to make sure they spawn on maybe from a different location we could do where is the position we could do um oh, pick random pick random and then we do spawn set um, position x set x set, set x where all right do I put it? is that a spawner yes okay so you want to uh Spawn it right here. Oh, sure. no, no, we want it random. Yeah, we're random on the X. That's good. And that's going to be 0 to the screen length is 160. Now, the problem is if you sp oh, no, spawn zero. that is that you might be on the side. So you want to kind of maybe start 20 away from this. Yeah, 40 to 120. Spawns it twice. And yeah, zero is actually a good. It's spawning two. That's yeah, that's good. Okay. I think the problem with the start is that we have a spawn in on start and in the game loop. Yeah. We need to remove this. There you go. All right, there's some really cool stuff we can do when. So this is this is a trick. When we have the overlap, there's a very cool block called camera shake. When it does yeah, an effect so where it's going to be, just search for it. Camera shake, yeah. So I think half a second's too long. All right. And then there's like a big shake. Yeah, that's going to be a crazy shake. But it's going to have, it really has a dramatic it does. effect. If it doesn't restart, just. Oh. oh, see, it looks really good. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh um, we could use say, actually. We could have it say something. Little ouchies. Yeah, we could do, like, I'm vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, so if you go, I think, in, uh, well, let's search for say. Let's find it where it is. Search is, is a great way to find say. Yeah, cool. This has to go where we create our player. Oh, oh no, no yeah, that's here, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the diet. Let's see. And wait, it's the wrong sprite. Hero. Oh, this is starting to be fun. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he doesn't oh. stop saying it. 
Right. Excellent. See how long. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's, it flashes so you can read it. Yeah, no. The other thing we could do is destroy the burger because it hit you and it's going to oh, destroy yeah. it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to destroy with some... Um, destroy my some, sprite on overlap. And it's not going to be my sprite. It's going to be this one with some... some uh, I think there's disintegrating, which is really good. Let's try that. Oh yeah. <sighs> I'm not really taking damage anymore. Oh yeah, no, we because now we destroyed, we only take one damage per burger. So okay, let's so go back to a decent number of life. Or we could just lose five every time. Oh yeah, or ten. How many times do you want to be tapped? Um, ten. Let's see. Mm, let's see if that works. I'm gonna have unforeseen. Oh. Ooh. Whoopsie. Minus ten. So yeah, playing with these variables, you kind of figure out if your game is gonna be playable or not. All right. The only I problem now is the fish is always going left. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna go into. Press on start. Uh, no, and where do we do the we fish? We kind of want the aquatic feel. See? Do we want this? Sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the, you know, algae. Yeah. That's not great. Let's see. Right? And burger, burgers don't really swim, but, burgers, you know. Burgers, I don't know. They, it's, they got dropped. Let's yeah. See. They're very heavy. Yeah. Let's go back to where we do the fish. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is uh, clone this image. Just gra drag it out. Yeah. Duplicate, put it back in. Just so we have it. All right, so we're going to create the other side of that image. So unfortunately, right now, the image editor doesn't um, flip doesn't have a flip so we're gonna do it in code so create a new uh, a new sprite yeah create a new uh, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do two variables one for fish left and one for fish right and we're gonna store the image in that I mean you think we'd have an easier way to do it all right and fish right Whoops, 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 you lost. All right, okay, so let's set this fish right to, um, this fish left to this image of a left fish. Oh, uh, I only have the fish rights. No, no, well, there's a drop down. Oh, okay. So let's oh, put yeah. that into make player. The fish right? Yeah. And fish left. Okay. All right. So fish right is just going to be the image, right? That's just going to be this. Can we like just put a block? Okay. Actually, we can do it like. Yeah. This. And then this one, we're gonna first clone it. So we clone. Uh, go into images. Images. Oh yeah. And you want this clone of a picture, yeah. Yes. And that should be fish, right? And then we're gonna add one more thing, which is flipping. Variable. It's also an image. And there's a flip. 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 Horizontal, yes. Horizontal. And that's gonna be flip fish left. It's oh, the yeah. left one we flip. Don't we want to fish? Oh. Fish right is. We no, you're absolutely right. That's fish left. Yeah. Let's let's wait 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 wait. This uh, is fish left. And then fish right is a clone of fish left. And then we flip, fish right. Horizontally, then it's going to be pointing right. And now we can actually use one of these here. So in a game update, we're going to check 
where the what is the speed it's of the working. fish? No, because we were missing the code. Oh, okay. So in a game update, just drag a new one. Oh, okay, drag a new one. Yeah, no. No, every that's another one. Go back to game. You want it on every step of the game, so this one, and you want to do a test whether the the speed of the does it check? Nope. It's oh. an if. Yeah, bring that in. So we're gonna test if the velocity over x of the sprite is positive. That means it's going right. Velocity. Uh, I think you just wanna grab it yeah. here. Oh, okay. So we need this, and you can get the vx. And if this is greater than zero, we know it's pointing right, okay. and then we're gonna set the image to right. If, okay. So we need this diamond shape. That's probably in logic. Logic. And want to check if the yeah velocity is greater than zero. Mm. Mm, let's move out. Yeah, let's move out of here. All right. So if the velocity is greater than zero, we have positive velocity. It means we're going right. And if we're going right, we want to put the right image on the sprite. So we're going to grab the block to do that. Nope. Just stay there and go into the toolbox. Yes? Yes. And you're going to set the image on the sprite. There's a block to do that. Isn't that, isn't that on image? The image is to manipulate images, and sprite is to manipulate sprites. So... You want to set the... Keep going. There's something about the image. Anyone miss it? Create on the image. image. Yeah. Set this one. Yeah. And we have these variables now, so we can do. So you don't have to move the view. You can grab them from the toolbox. Oh yeah. Um. Two. So it's pointing. Is going to the right. Mm -hmm. So we want fish left. <coughs> so you want the, the fish to move. If it's going to the right, how is it pointing to? Yeah. And what is the other case? Else would be we're going to the... Oh, we duplicated there. There we go. Let's move up because we're covering with the video. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, by the way, yeah, this should be hero. Hero, hero, and also hero on top here. All right, so we're testing on every step of the game. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now it looks much better. You know what? I think there's a there's a bubble effect for the fish. Oh yeah. We could use. Okay, we could do set effect on. On probably the function that creates it. Yeah. Yeah, here, let's get bubbles. Uh, sprites. Yeah, there we go, start spray effect. And let's put some little bubbles. Hero. Bubbles. Oh, sweet! Here we go, we got a game! Yeah, it's nice. You're gonna diet it. We could do a list of what it could choose, and there's different words it can say. It could be like, I'm gonna diet, or. Uh, That's right. Um, it's not vegan, or something like that. <laughs> Ugh, 286. You wanna try doing the list? Yeah, sure. All right, so we're gonna create the list uh, in on start. Please. Text list. That. Um, so, so we have am I on a diet? Um, I am on a diet. I'm. Oopsie doopsie. I'm. Oh no. I'm just gonna go. I'm. 
Oh, no, no. These are going to be full oh, yeah. sentences. Oh, yeah. I know. All right. Press tap. Oh, bang. Yeah, you don't want to meet two because it's going to take too much space on the screen. Oh, yeah. I'm on a diet and then... Burp. <laughs> I don't know what I could do. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. And. Um. Uh, let's see, what can I do? A frowny. Uh. Is that vegan? Is that uh, vegan? <laughs> All right, so where do we set the text? Let's figure out where that is. Then we can do. Perfect. And we need to figure out the, well, you've created it. Oh, yeah, but, but we you don't, haven't we don't wired it, it up. It. All right. But so first thing we take off. Um, Let's see. Where is it? So we mm, have... Zoom out and then find it and then zoom in. Oh, yeah, over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we just up update this. Don't remove it. Keep it there. All right. Oh yeah, then we do. Call. So, Wait. create a variable. Oh, we could do it all in one shot. Uh, so you want to? Let's we could, see. We could put that in a function, and then we could just call the function. The function's done. Return. So we can get the value in text list. Now we need this index to be random. Uh, so we do math. And it's math, and it's random between... Zero and two, right? We have three values. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do we? Yeah. And then zero and two. Let's try it. Ouch. Ouch. I'm on the diet. Bye. Cool. Ouch. I want to die. Come on. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I want to die. Okay. All right, let's try it on the hardware. I've got the Adafruit Pi Gamer connected. All the games you build in make code. You can actually also play them on a piece of hardware. We've got multiple of them. Okay. So Emil is doing the save and he's right clicking. He's going to save into this drive. And now you can see the Pi Gamer is copying. Is it copying? I hope. Let's try again. Hold on. Get into bootloader mode. All right. Yeah. Burger's there. Can we see the fish? You now see, I just see. Uh -huh. Let me turn it off so we see better. I see. I see fish. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Let me try to play the game. Woohoo! I'm a game designer. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Pretty. Pretty good. You can't really see the word, but you can see. It. Yeah, it's kind of bad. I don't know if people are interested with your words. I'm so good at this game. What's? Oh my God! Deep in my high score. I wasn't even trying on my high score. Yeah, these, these screens are a bit finicky to film. Yeah, it's not really quality content. But this is our game today. Let's go and uh, show how it's going to be shared. It's going to be your next uh, activity. So go back, control shift one. Oh yeah, control shift one. So bouncing burger. So let's go, let's go back and do the whole sharing. Oh yeah. So if you want to share your game, you there's share. actually plenty of ways to do that. Uh, one of them is to click share. Bouncing burger. I'm, I can't give it a good name. Give it a good name. Vegan fish. Vegan or vegetarian fish. I think they're all vegan. Oh no. It doesn't matter. Let's call it Grumpy Fix. Oh Grump yeah. No. Um. 
The fish who was full? <laughs> Boys, we're doing a pretty good score here on the corner. <laughs> okay, um... Fish mania. Um, burgers versus fish. Burgers. Can record. Press R. Play the game until it stops recording. Here we go. Sweet. And then hit, hit publish. Hold on. I'm going to answer a question from the chat while this is happening. We have a chat on Mixer, but also uh, we have all the answers you want. Emil, I'm, I'm not typing. Oh, okay. I, I was just. Oh, yeah. Oops. All right. And so you get a URL, and that URL you can share with someone, copy. and also scan the QR code with your phone and play it. And you know, so if you, you copy that and you give that to your teacher or to your friends, they can reopen the game and play it full screen. And it looks really nice. And it looks really nice and when they can it's edit, loaded. They can edit code to make it how they want. And then doesn't. they can edit and redo it. And that concludes this part of the streaming. And we'll be done. We'll be back for more adventures in the arcade begging her world. Ouch. Bye, everybody. <laughs>